guys, welcome back for round two of Community Picks. I actually guess it's round one. It's just my pick this oh. time, not Scott's pick, so I get to talk. What we did was pull the community on the community tab on YouTube to let them pick our games for the month. So the first one, which actually got a decent amount of votes, was Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I did play a teeny tiny little bit, bit of this, enough to know that I was like, oh, that would be cool. But we're looking at about 22%, I think it was. And so it didn't quite make the mark. The second game, spoiler, I'm actually playing now because it was so close that I had to, is Horizon Zero Dawn. And we'll talk about that next month. And literally the difference between the winner and this one was a percentage. 1%. 1%. 1%. So that's why I had to play that one. But the one I played for this month was Resident Evil 2 Remake. And like I said, you guys pander to me because I am a big survival horror fan. I get scared easily, but I love it. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Story. This should have been simple for me because I played the first one. And you I played the original I played Resident the original. Evil That's on what I mean. PS1. The, the odd thing is, I don't remember much of the story. I, I'm I did, in the same boat. I did once I started playing. You remember the environment you're in? Yes. Yeah. I remember once I started playing it, that original one, I don't know if I was just playing so many different games at that time and I was trying to shove it into this uh, gamer education. Yeah, you were popping out games. Right? Yeah, that it just, actually we ended up leaving it out initially on my games I played in 2020. We Did added you? it on at the end, we're at like, oh end? shit, oh, yeah. I also played this game. Yeah. So I was looking forward to playing it again re-seeing the story, and as I was playing it, it was coming back to me, which was really, really cool. You're in the police station basically the entire time. Yep. When you're not there, you're going to the lab that you're trying to find the G-Virus. It's a G-Virus. It's a G-Virus? G-Virus. I don't remember. I decided to play Leon's character. I could have chose, I could have chose Claire or Leon, but it just made sense if I was gonna start the game again to start it how it should be started. Yeah. I did not play Claire's portion yet. I probably will go back at some point because a friend of ours said that it does My, it does yep. change things a little bit. Not change things that you do, but there's, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different enough to play it because right. there is a room in the police station you can't get into as Leon. You could only get into it as Claire. And there's certain <laughs> things you can only do as one character or the oh, other. Okay. So it, it adds to the game. The story was fantastic. It's a Resident Evil game. The, well, as far as you know, stories go with Resident yeah, Evil, well, they're the story, pretty basic. Yes, exactly, there. exactly. There's zombies and you yeah, shoot them. You shoot them. Yeah. And that's the whole fun of it. That opening scene was phenomenal. Oh, really? I loved it. it is was, it similar to the original or is it completely different? I can't even remember. Oh, yeah. But if I had to put the two side by side, I would probably never remember the original because this one was so good. I really, really liked it. Um, another part of the story that I really, really liked was uh, Mr. X. Oh, you're right. talking about the enemy? Yeah. Yeah, that's Mr. X. You don't really find him, though. He's not an enemy person. Well, yes, you do. But for the most of the game, you're just running away from him. And I think that's what scared me waiting for him to pop up. And then once he popped up, I was like... Yeah, I don't know what I was scared about. He is Jesus he is big Christ. and terrifying, but I was I don't know what I was expecting. I, I had it so hyped up no. that I knew he was coming. Yeah. I was like, I don't now, know. Now, when I when I, I talked moved. to you before you started playing the game, I compared Mr. X to probably something similar to Lady D. Yes. And it was it the same? It so was. Like, it yes. was. Unless he gets think... close to you, you don't really have to worry about him. No. He does pop up a few places and just fucking bust through the wall yeah and that is terrifying yeah but only for like a hot minute and then you run away from him okay. you can get away from him very easily unless yeah. you get cornered in a tight spot then you're like oh god what am i gonna do now you gotta wait till he's gonna dodge at you and grab you and then you dodge it's out of the just way there you roll to the way. keep a little pressure on you that's exactly yeah. what it is the game is not difficult i made it on needlessly difficult on myself because he, no. I did, because he was chasing me and I left my gun, my mag. What? I left it. I didn't know. You need that. And I played the entire game holding on to ammo I never got to use, filling up a space in my satchel that I never got to use. 
Meanwhile, I'm dropping shit that I was like, well, mm, but I want to hang on to this ammo. ammo. I'm going to get that bag soon. <laughs> and that, that proved to make the di game Player more funded. difficult than it had to be because I was, I got in some you, pretty tight situations. I remember where coming I was home running. from work and you're like, fuck, they don't give you any ammo. <laughs> 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 they do because that med gun would have taken down uh, zombies or uh, different enemies in the game quicker than my handgun would have, mm -hmm. you know, with less shots. Yeah. So yeah, probably would have been a little bit more forgiving on the. Can I assume gun. that it's very similar? Like, because I played Resident Evil Three yeah. Remake, like you can shoot the guy in the face like three times before he drops. Yes. Uh, that irritates me. Yeah, I mean, unless you have, I don't know, a, a bigger, stronger weapon. Well, then, yeah, blow the but the handgun, you're just like, bang, bang, yeah. bang, fucking die. Gameplay was fairly fluid. I mean, there's some, they have to make it very comparable to the original. So there's certain maneuvers I would have loved. Like, you have like a bit of a dash in a newer game. Like, you can dash to the side and uh, dash. Quick, yeah, yeah, you don't get that. Stutter step kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, so uh, not that I saw anyways that I could use, but there were certain things like that. Claire actually apparently want, runs fast or injured. Injured? Yeah, I don't know why. I had read that too. Really? So that was kind of odd, but that didn't really factor into my gameplay because I didn't play as Claire yet. So it'll be cool to see that other side of the coin to it's see yeah. how that works. Um, yeah, you play as Ava for a little bit. That I think was different from the original because she had a device. I don't remember her at all. In the yeah, original. that's what I'm saying. It's, like it's been a while though. She had a device, kind of like in Watch Dogs, when you would have to turn things off or like electrically figure things out. Okay. Like she, there was a little portion of that game that she did that sort of stuff, and I don't remember that from the original. So let me know. Is that part of it? Because I don't. I don't think remember it was. either. Was the big spider still there in the sewer? Did you go down the sewer? It, it, oh yeah, you have to oh. go down in the sewers, but it was a big crocodile. Crocodile. Yeah. And the big crocodile is just basically dodging his attack because he's coming down at you. It's a different point of view that he's coming down at you and you have to dodge to the right. Oh, that was in the first the one. Left. I remember because yes, yes. you had to run away from it. You had to run it's away like from It's like a boss. You're so, not fighting yeah. him at all. You're running away yeah. from him. So, okay, I remember that. Yeah. But uh, that, that changed things a little bit because I wasn't expecting that and it was a different view. So as far as like viewpoint i liked it it felt pulled back enough, enough? yeah because i don't like it when it's too tight third person over the shoulder when it's yeah like two in there no no it, like it, it takes felt... away from some of your screen it or, does yeah. no this was perfect it felt good i can't complain about that at all at all it was yeah gameplay was phenomenal for me yeah. i really liked it graphics i mean it's a remake from what i seen here looked great it was really you really played good it on the ps4 pro yeah, yeah, I did. For what they did, like, the zombies were really cool. Some of the death scenes were really cool when you would kill certain zombies or when you first see Mr. X and he busts through the wall of the prison and gets that guy that's in the cell. That was really, really awesome because you need his badge to get out, to get out of the police station in the parking garage. I think that's what he has is that parking garage pass and you need that to get out. But yeah, some of that, that was probably the most intense part of the game, was that, and it was really good. And I saw it coming, and I killed all the zombies in the cells, I thought, but no, they're all back again. Meanwhile, like, I'm trying to get out of this situation, and Alex is down here, and he's bouncing around on the chair, and I'm like, you're, you're making me tense, like, I can't even do this, but I powered through and I did it. I was pretty proud of myself. I really good, liked yeah. Ada's character. I liked her give no fucks attitude. It was awesome. All the the enemies were awesome. I really, really enjoyed those, uh, I don't know what they were, but they looked like plants or whatever, and they had like little pockets of pus on them or little pockets of something. And the only way to kill those is with uh, fire. So you do get a weapon that's... Flamethrower? Yeah, oh, you yeah. get a flamethrower. And you could shoot the pockets and take it down, but it doesn't take it down. It just needs time to respawn, oh, okay. and then it comes back. So that's the only way to kill them. And I thought they were really, really cool. Uh, the first time I saw one of the bigger enemies nearly shit my pants and ran the other way because they're right on top of you. 
Oh, yeah. They're right on top of you. So there's no running away from them. You're not going to run. you got to stand and fight. And that was another really cool part I of the graphics. I typically don't run. No, you don't. But I want to run. I want to come yeah. up with a game plan. I want to get behind things. I want to strategically kind of figure it out. And there's no strategy. You're just like, get the hell in there and do it. Yeah. As far as music and sound... Again, Probably atmosphere more it, than anything. The, it, Creepy. Yes, it set the atmosphere, now, set the tone. I do remember, I can like, hear it in my head right mm -hmm. now for the the original. I can hear that. There's one part in the game that had me having that flashback to the original, and I'm not sure even why it was this part of the game that made it for me. But you're going to go into the room that is your dark room. You know, for, where you can develop the film? Yeah. Okay. Well, all the while, I've had been picking up boards and boarding up windows, and this is right at the bottom of the stairs, and you board up that window. And I don't know if there was something about that zombie every time I came out of the room constantly being there, hitting up against the window, I kept expecting those bigger creatures to come along and attack me, because that's, that's when I got attacked there by two of them. Yeah. And every time I went to that room, it was just like a little bit of apprehension. The music, the sound was perfect. Every time I went in to save at a typewriter, it would change. And when I would get in a more apprehensive part of the game, when it would start to build up, the music would build yeah. up. So it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. And yeah. I actually played it with the lights on down here. Because I was like, I don't want to be scared. But it wasn't really super scary. Sad. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. And uh, as far as value and replayability, well, you have two different stories to play through. Exactly. So there's there's replayability there. We did not buy this new. We got the second hand. So it made yep. the value better too. I think we only paid about 40 for it. Yeah. It's probably cheaper now. It's not a game you're going to sink a ton of hours into because there's different things you can do or there's DLCs or whatever. But you can play Claire's part of the story. And then, you know, say three, four years down the road, you want a little Resident Evil fix. The remake's fantastic. You, I know this one was more sought after than the third one. It was more close to the original. Oh, uh, yeah. From what I hear a lot of people say, that they enjoyed the second I remake better than the third. I was a little disappointed in the third In the length? Remake. Just the length, but that's, yeah. I know that's true to the original also. Yeah, yeah. So if you're trying to stay close to the original, then it's, yeah. you know. So overall... Um, I'll do it like Scott did it. Either I don't like it, I like it, or I love it. And I think it's right in there, I really liked it. Yeah, you're yeah. in between a like and a love here. Yeah, there's been survival horror games that I've loved more, but this one is really, really good. I think the ones that you really like more are the ones that really scare you. They either really scare me yeah. or they offer something new I haven't seen yet. Yeah. Or, I, I don't know, I guess it, you fought, you figure it out when you get in the game. Okay. Yeah, but it's definitely a great game. I would suggest anybody that's a survival horror anybody fan. Anybody that's a Resident, Resident Evil, Evil fan. fan yeah. I haven't played play it yet, this. so I need to play it, right? You do, you really, really do. Especially since you played the third one. So I know, I played up. the third one when it came out, when it was new. I know. Yeah, I was a little pissed off because it was so short. Yeah. And then... Then we got the set. The second one was actually more expensive here for a while. It was. It may still be. I don't know. Yeah, because people enjoyed it more. And yeah. We, as a gaming community, dictate the prices. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, I think it's a fun game. And if you like survival horror and Resident Evil, give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a go. All right, guys. Until next time, game, game on. on.